Audie Crooks led Iowa State back from a 20-point deficit in order to advance to the next round of March Madness. She scored 40 points, and her team will be preparing to face Stanford on Monday instead of going back to Iowa. However, I was surprised to see that Crooks received a lot of hate on social media after her highlights were posted on mainstream media platforms. People that just wanted to celebrate the comeback victory online were met with hateful comments on social media about her weight and other hateful things about her appearance. People were saying things that I'd rather not repeat and were making it more about her physical appearance than what actually took place during the game. To my surprise, most of these commenters weren't even children either. They were full-grown adults that were commenting hateful things about a teenager. Audie Crooks is six foot three inches tall and probably weighs about 290 pounds. She probably knows that she may need to lose some weight throughout her career, but her size is one of the reasons why she has been able to be so dominant throughout high school and college. Most of the comments that people have been making about her have not been constructive at all, and I don't understand why someone would want to tear down someone that has probably struggled with their weight and body image their whole life. During the post-game interview, Audie Crooks became emotional when she was asked about how she was able to carry her team to victory against the University of Maryland. She started to cry and spoke about her late father that passed away in 2021, when she was only 16 years old. She said that she prays before every game and that she is proud that her dad has the best seat in the house whenever she plays a basketball game. Audie is one of the most humble and kind college basketball players in the country, and I hope these hateful comments don't harm her self-esteem or confidence. I am looking forward to seeing her play throughout the rest of the tournament, and I look forward to seeing her get drafted one day as well. Let me know what you think about the situation in the comment section below. Do you think Iowa State will be able to beat Stanford in the next round of the tournament?